In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold an origami pinwheel star designed by Dasha Shevarova. It's beautiful by itself, but you can also mount it on a stick to create a working pinwheel. Here I'll use 16 squares, each with a side length of 7.5 centimeters or 3 inches. And the finished model then has a diameter of about 15 and a half centimeters or 6 and 1 eighth of an inch and a depth of about 2.75 centimeters or 2 and 1 16th of an inch. So let's get started. We first need to fold 16 modules. For this start with the white side up and fold along the diagonal by bringing point to point. Unfold and now bring this raw edge to the central crease line. Unfold and now we're going to flip this over and we're going to start a crease exactly where that crease line meets the raw edge. So I'm just going to pinch this and if you like you can even bend this over to get a nice precise pinch and after that align edge with edge to get a nice horizontal crease. And then we're only going to crease up to the diagonal crease right here rather than all the way through. Unfold and now you will have an intersection of these two creases here and that you're going to use to also add this crease line right here by first pinching and then aligning edge with edge to get a nice horizontal crease like this. Now we're going to push this together so that we get a module that has a valley fold right here and here and here and a mountain fold here and make sure that the tip is nice and accurate and this section we're also going to fold along the existing crease. Next we're going to take this flap right here and fold it up along the edge then flip over and now we're going to take this raw edge and bring it over to that layer bisecting the angle like this. And now one module is done and you need to fold 16 in total. Now once all your 16 modules are done we're going to take two of them. We're going to unfold this and also that flap and the same on the other one. And now we're going to have a pocket right here and a flap right here. This is the section that was folded behind. And we're going to insert that flap into the pocket and slide it in like this so that your modules are aligned like this and they meet in this point. And then we're going to fold along this mountain fold and that valley fold and we're going to be creating a crease inside here so that the modules lock together really nicely but it's quite easy. Just like this. And then we're going to take the next one and again take this single layer flap, insert it into the next module until they're nicely aligned and collapse. And while we're doing this we want to secure them even more and for that we're going to take this flap section right here and put it inside this pocket right there. And you can just slip and tuck that inside like that to make it nice and locked together. And same on this one. You take this section and you just lift this up for perhaps a little easier access and then flatten down and push together to get these to be nice and tight. And then you continue with the next one until you've joined all of them and I'll show you what to do for the very last one too. But let's speed through this section because it's all the same. Okay. 
Now we only need to add last module. And again, we're going to unfold these two flaps, insert them as before. Lock even more securely by putting in that tab in there, closing it up. And then we just need to bring this first module to the front to insert it as before and then fold in. The angles should work out perfectly and then don't forget to also insert this in here and you just have to fiddle around a little bit to get it inside this pocket right here to completely lock the model together and push it in to get a nice stable model like that. And then you can keep it like this or you can open it up just a bit right here by perhaps running your thumb along it and then go all the way around. And that looks really gorgeous too. Or you can take it even one step further by just taking these tips and curling them out a little bit. I think that gives it an even nicer look. And then your pinwheel star designed by Dasha Shevarova is all done. Now, if you like this model, you will love Dasha's new book, Origami Journey, which includes diagrams for the pinwheel star and many other designs, in particular, both 2D and 3D stars and flowers, and plenty of boxes. And for another taste of her work in this book, check out my video on her star bowl, or as she calls it in the book, rain bowl. Plus, you can explore more of her work on Flickr, and Facebook, and even buy her folds, including gorgeous jewelry on Etsy. And if you liked this video, do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting below, and sharing it with others. Now, for your next fold, how about you follow one of my other tutorials on Dasha's work, or check out my playlist of Modular Origami. Finally, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next videos, I hope to see you around and as always, happy folding!